What's up everybody, Bootsy Greenwood here and I'm coming to you live from my whiteboard which I have had this map of consciousness on for gosh, probably three weeks now. I've been studying this and really trying to track my progress through it and see kind of where I'm at and how I can manage myself better, manage my emotions better and leverage my state in order to get to a higher state. I hope it's something that you've been able to try. Uh, once again, if you would like a fancy copy of this that a friend of mine, my friend Allison made, it's branded really nicely and you can download that. Just shoot me an in Instagram message on Bootsy Greenwood, my personal, or Blue Collar Mystics page. They're both public. You can find either one. Shoot me a message on there. I'll send it to you. If you're not on Instagram, there's a Telegram link. There's a Facebook uh, message group link as well. And I got to tell you guys, I got to be honest, I have seen this map many times and just it sometimes, you know, I look at it and it just pisses me off. And that's how I know <laughs> right where I'm at. I'm here in anger. I'm in anger. And today I want to talk about leveraging the state of anger, which is actually above desire. So for me, longing, desire is like when I'm way, oh, I wish I had this. And oh, I, why, one day, how am I going to get that? That's longing, right? It's not far from anger because when you realize that you don't have the thing that you want or that you have put yourself in a position that could have been better, then you start to get angry. And it's very, very easy to start to get angry at other people, okay? So for me, I'm realizing some things right now in this moment. And certain things like, so I'm a type two on the Enneagram, if that means anything to you, if you know what that is, that's great. If not, no big deal. I'll give you the bullet point. I'm a helper. I help people. It's in my nature to wanna help people. And probably, if you're watching this video, Probably that's, if you like my shit, it's probably because of that. It's probably because I genuinely want to help. I'm taking information. I started taking information on this channel and putting it out just literally to try to help. I had no idea there was businesses being built for, you know, in this vein. I had no idea that people were, you know, had all these different uh, funnels and all that kind of stuff. Had no idea. I was just like, here, have all the knowledge here. Let me help you. Let me help you. And so that's where I come from in large part. And so I love to work with other people. It's my favorite thing. I love to help other people. I love to see them do better. I love to see them accomplish their goals. I love to see them outshine me, frankly. That's actually, that's how I know I do it a good job. You know, the first rule in the 48 Laws of Power is never outshine the master. I think that's the stupidest rule ever because if you're not doing a good job as a teacher, then I mean, if you are doing a good job as a teacher, then people should be outshining you. That's the point. Come on. But anyway, I love to work with people. I really do. It's my favorite thing. But sometimes when you get involved with people, certain things happen. You start a project. This thing happens. Things don't go quite the way you want them to. Or people leave. They come back. They want this. They want that. Right? You have to negotiate and sort of go through that. And that's part of it. I also, I love that part too. I love the challenges. But one of the things that gets confusing with the map of consciousness and dealing with yourself is that ultimately, none of the things that you're upset about or angry about have anything to do with anyone else, okay? Now that doesn't mean that when somebody drops the ball, they're not responsible. It doesn't mean that no one gets the blame. It doesn't mean that everyone gets off scot-free and you just beat yourself to pieces, you know, when you have an agreement with someone. But how can you set yourself up for success the next time? So for me, I'm essentially asking that question. And I, I, I get into anger pretty frequently, you know, and I, I encourage you to get angry. I really do. Anger is spiritual. Yell into a pillow, feel the feelings. Just don't send that message, don't send that email, don't send that voice note or whatever when you're in that state of mind because it will pass, this too shall pass. But in that moment, when you're feeling that frustration, when you're feeling that anger, ask yourself, what did I do myself to get myself into this position? If it's a pickle, it's a pickle. And what did I do? What boundaries did I leave open? What did I not say? What did I not communicate? What did I not do or should have done or done differently or better in order to put myself in a better position so that in the future I can harness that 
and put myself in a better position for the future. So, you know, it's easy to get insecure. It's easy to get worried, nervous, freaked out, you know, all those sorts of things. And anger kind of becomes this container where we tend to lash out at other people. And so what I want to encourage you to do is when you get into that anger state, use it, use it to your advantage. What can you use it for productively? You know, I had a friend who was like, I'm, he was mad about some stuff going on with, with his football league with his son, you know, and, he, and you know, there's, there's very productive things. We can go to the gym, we can cut the grass, we can, you know, do some physical activity to get, dispel some of that excess energy. But ultimately it's really about what can I do? What can I do to set myself up better in the future so that I don't have to deal with this problem again? Because we're going to have to deal with problems. This is all part of growth and it is what it is. But I want to encourage you to harness that energy and to use it for your own benefit and for your own constructive, very important, constructive criticism. Because when we're working with people, sometimes we're not working with the right people and that's okay. Sometimes we need to maybe pare things down. Sometimes we need to decide that we want to go a different way and that's fine. But use that anger to be introspective instead of starting to lash out at other people, situations and problems. And you'll be less of a victim. You'll have more control and power and be able to leverage your state and thus bump this anger into pride, which is like, well, why don't I do that? I matter and I could, should have a Mercedes Benz or whatever, right? Like if you bump yourself into that, Hey, you should, you do deserve all the best things. Have you earned them? Let's be, you know, real about that. And let's, you know, uh, hammer down on the things that you have previously messed up and fix those things in the now with courage to, to ac accept responsibility for where you are, where I am, I'm talking to myself here, and begin to take action to get into the flow and start to get into these higher states of consciousness where purpose begins. Now I just finished my purpose course. I'm launching it on school very soon. Okay. I'm going to create a school group. I want to invite everyone there. Once it's ready, I'm still tweaking some things and getting everything in its right place, but I'm really excited about it. And I hope it's something that you will join and be a part of, even if it's just a checkout, I'm going to launch a free group and then I'm going to have some paid options up, you know, for the other tiers and stuff. But the free group is going to be so, so good that I'm very, very, yeah, I'm ridiculously excited about it. And I don't want to say too much because it's not ready yet. But I just want to say thank you if you're watching this video. I hope this has been helpful. Um, yeah. Give yourself grace. Give yourself space. Make mistakes. It's okay. And it's okay also to get angry about it and say, you know, what can I do better? Evaluate yourself critically, but constructively and not from a place of beating yourself up. Love on yourself. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Check out the live stream that we did on creativity this week. It was really good. And be on the lookout, y'all, for the link to invite to school because I will be doing that very, very soon. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I'm very excited about it. Thanks so much. Many blessings. Have a good one. Peace.